Let's talk about a loser today in the market, and that is Apple. Now, Goldman turning a little bit bearish on the stock. They actually downgraded the tech giant to sell. Uh, we have Dan Halley here joining us. And Dan, I know you're looking into this call from Goldman for us, but it looks like they think that the coronavirus might be a bigger headwind than many others on the street initially thought it would be for the company. Yeah, and it seems like the headwind really will only be temporarily, at least as far as iPhone sales go. They're saying that they're looking at as much as a 36% year-over-year decline for Q2 iPhone sales. Q2 is usually around the time when people uh, have already passed the, the bulk of iPhone purchasing. We see the phones come out in September. There's a huge rush into the holidays. Uh, and then when you get into Q1, there's the leftovers. And then Q2 and Q3 is really where the slowdown happens. But Q2 is still important because, hey, they're selling iPhones. So it's a big part of the company. And the fact that they're down or could be down as much as 36% would hurt them significantly. But if you look at Q4 for that uh, next uh, for this year, they're saying they would only see declines of 2% year over year. And I think that speaks to the fact that not only will there be a new iPhone, the 5G version at that point, most likely, uh, but potentially that the uh, greater economy will have recovered enough at that point to make up for the fact that so many people are out of jobs and thus not spending as much as they otherwise would. I think one of the important things uh, outside of the iPhones to point out in this note is the fact that they say services revenue could stagnate for all of 2021. And we talked about how Yes, the iPhone's important, but you have to look at Apple as a multifaceted company with services and with accessories. And if you see services stagnate when they are rolling out something like Apple TV Plus still, they're still going to be putting out shows, presumably, then that starts to leave you a little worried. Yeah, Dan, the, that also caught my attention just in terms of the side need at, um, that we could see their services business stagnate here. How problematic is that? for Apple, because we talked about the potential that maybe the iPhones could be delayed on the product side, but there hasn't really been much focus on the service side when it comes to the outbreak. Yeah, I mean, if you look at something, say, like uh, Apple TV+, Plus, that's being offered a year for free when you purchase a new device. So Apple's really not making much revenue on it right now. Uh, if people don't necessarily see any new shows on there that they're very interested in, uh, we really haven't had that much of a breakout success outside of perhaps the morning show then that could start to worry people because right now nobody is making new shows. So when we start to think about what the timeline looks like for Apple rolling out new uh, properties, it might be an issue down the line in 2021. And then on top of that, when you look at something like, say, Apple Care, uh, the insurance that you get for your device, well, that's not going to be something that people might look to if they're looking to save money on their new smartphone purchases. And we have something like a 699 iPhone 11 or the new 399 iPhone SE, they might say, well, I don't necessarily have the uh, bandwidth to purchase that Apple Care alongside the phone. Let me just get the phone and a sturdy case. Yeah, certainly. I mean, it's interesting to see when we just evaluate how a coronavirus could be affecting really across uh, all industries at this point. So it's great stuff. Dan Halley, thanks so much. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.